everybody in today's video i am super excited i'm going to be sharing with you what was sent to me for october's polish pickup october's polish pickup theme is sidekicks and the shop will go live friday october 7th through monday october 10th i'll have all the information for polish pickup down below the website and um the dates that it opens um, I'm going to be talking about stuff for polish pickup and if I mention a cap, it's basically like a set number of product that is made for the month. So once that number has been sold, the item is no longer available. So if stuff that you have has a low cap, what I recommend doing is the Sunday before the shop opens, you it opens for wish listing. You have to have an account, but you go in, you pick out everything that you would like on your wish list, and then you can preload your cart. And as soon as the shop opens, you can just check out. And usually that is enough to get you the low cap items. So I highly recommend that. Um, I will have all the information for the products down below, including name, price, and cap of what I'm talking about. And I'm going to be going in alphabetical order and let's get started. So first up, I have Adored Colors Ruben. This is so pretty, you guys. This is inspired by a Jeff Dunham's Halloween edition comedy sketch. Um, this is described as a black olive green base filled with gold to green chameleon glitter and violet pink gold flakes best in two to three coats this will have a hundred bottle cap and it's going to be 1150 i feel like this is such a beautiful like um murky deep kind of pretty ugly green but then you have all these beautiful um you have all these beautiful like violet flakes pink is my favorite color and so like the pink with like the sort of prugly green is like giving me life um i love prugly polishes and then when you like get pink and prugly together um like you have a pink prugly explosion and i'm just i'm here for it i think this is so beautiful perfect going into fall i could see this also maybe as like a halloween polish um just so so good you guys great formula on this as well two coats to get opaque on my swatch pictures and let's get into the swatching of Ruben. Next up from Colores de Carol, you guys, this polish is called R2. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that this is like, oh my gosh, for me. So this is based on R2-D2 from Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I'm like a diehard Star Wars fanatic. I love R2. <laughs> um, I love R2-D2. So I will like, when I saw this in the PR package, I was like, oh my gosh. Um, I feel like she just nails the inspiration so well. This is like so, 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 so cute, you guys. So this is a blue and silver reflective glitter. And it also has hollow glitter with white glitter. This will have a cap of 450 bottles. And I do not have the price information, but I will make sure to have it down below. Um, usually her polishes, I believe, are like $13.50 or $13. So it should be around there. Um so cute you guys um this is one of those polishes that to me i don't think you're gonna get fully opaque on the nail you will have some little spots where like the glitter just does not cover um but i don't mind that i think that there's so much going on with like the different glitter shapes and the reflective glitter that you're just kind of not gonna mind it but if you do i feel like you could top it over maybe like a silver or something like that so that the glitter can still stand out but you get like the full nail coverage another thing i will say is that two coats i feel like that was enough for me i think if you would go into like a third coat it might get just like a little bit too thick because some of the glitters are bigger um if you do want to try for that fully opaque look, you might want to sponge it on instead. And I would definitely wear a glitter smoothing top coat with this because it is a very top coat thirsty. Um, but overall, I think it's adorable. I love, I'm obsessed. I think it'd be perfect also for like holiday, New Year's Eve, very sparkly. Um, but I, like I died. I literally was like, I am going to die right now. And then I died. <laughs> um, so let's get into the swatching of R2.
And then next up, you guys, oh, this is from Kami Shimmer. This is called Pump It Up. You fall lovers are going to die for this. Um, people that are obsessed with the season of fall and fall polishes, like, look at that. You cannot even go wrong with that. Um, so this is called Pump It Up. It's inspired by a favorite fall sidekick, Pumpkin Spice. Described as a muted squash colored orange shade with rusty undertones and brighter lighting, holographic sparkle bounces off pumpkin inspired orange tones, while lower lights bring out caramel hues. Indirect light or under flash reflective pigment comes alive with sparkling shades echoing your favorite fall drinks. This will have no cap and it will be $12. I'm not, um, usually like a neutral girl as you guys know but i thought that this was super flattering to my skin tone sometimes neutrals are hard for me because i feel like they wash me out because like the neutral is brown and then i'm brown and so it can be kind of tricky but this is very very flattering i think if you're my skin tone um or even to like a deeper tone you're really gonna enjoy this polish on lighter tones um I think that would be tricky. I'm not really sure. I think you can just like check out the other swatches because she always has a really good skin tone range. Um, but I really enjoyed this on my skin tone. I did not get good reflective um, swatch pictures. I just have not been able to figure that out for myself. So definitely get on the Polish Pickup Pack site and check out the other swatches of the reflectiveness. It's really beautiful. I mean, you can see it here on camera, but um, I just was not, I'm not good at capturing that. Great formula on this. If you've worn any of the KB Shimmer Reflective Polishes, it's very similar to Coats to Get Opaque. It does dry gritty, so you definitely want like a glitter smoothing top coat or two coats of your regular top coat. But overall, you guys, um, a reflective glitter in a pumpkin shade, like why not? Um, are you guys into pumpkin spice? Um, I don't drink coffee, so I don't do um, pumpkin spice lattes because I just I do not enjoy coffee but pumpkin flavored like anything else I'm totally in I love a pumpkin pie I love a pumpkin bread I love a pumpkin ice cream I love like pumpkin pie blizzard I anything else pumpkin like I'm totally here for <laughs> I've already um so I have a Freddy's where I live um I've already had three pumpkin pie concretes so it's basically like a blizzard but I, they actually use like real chopped up pumpkin pie and then they mix it with custard and then they top it with um, whipped cream and cinnamon. Mm. I'm on my third one since they've been released maybe like a month ago. <laughs> and I plan to have one like fairly often because then when they're gone, they're gone. I have yet to buy my first pumpkin pie, but that's probably coming. I haven't seen them in the store yet where I'm at. So, but um, if y'all are a pumpkin spice lover, Catalina, gotta love polish. I know you are all about the PSL girl. Um, This polish, you're gonna love it so 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 pretty you guys and like i just like look at it with this green shirt like oh, it's just fall goodness and uh, i'm about to put it away before i even say it. let's get into live swatching of pump it up i got so excited Um, and then she is doing a sweet cider sugar scrub, also from KB Shimmer. This will be $10. There will be no cap on this. And then let me just read you a little description of this. Sweet cider hand and body scrub is inspired by trips to the orchard. Crisp and perfectly ripe apple notes quickly blend with vanilla and sponge sugar for a sweet cider-like scent. I can almost taste the Granny Smith apples cut and waiting for warm mouth melted caramel to envelop them a sparkly light cider in color this scrub is the perfect scent to usher in a new season so i have not opened this yet so let's open it together and get our smell on um these do come sealed in case you guys were wondering that way they don't like melt in your mailbox and leave oil everywhere but <laughs> it's kind of hard for me my nails are short. I had another nail break. Um, I'm under pressure because y'all are watching. <laughs> okay. So. It has a nice little color to it. Um, so it does still, you know, form in the um, heat or whatever. 
but you can just mix it up with like a not a toothpick um mix it up with like a spoon or something and it'll it'll be fine a plastic knife whatever mm, that does smell good it smells like apple cider but like real apple too I don't know I really like this scent I feel like it is perfect for fall um and I've mentioned in the past This is my favorite um, body scrub ever. So I used to use the Tea Tree Hut, I think it's called from Walmart, and that was like my go-to for years. And then when I started swatching for KB Shimmer and I got my first um, scrub for PR, oh my gosh, amazing. I like that this has more sugar in it. I feel like it's grittier, so you get better exfoliation. And I also like the oil in this. I feel like it sticks to your skin longer, um, even after you wash it off, like you still do feel moisturized and not like super, super dry. Um, I use this before every manicure. What I do is I, um, I tell you guys, if you guys are not new here, you're going to hear this speech again. But this is for the people that are new here. <laughs> um, so I put my cuticle remover on. I push back my cuticles, get rid of all the dead cuticle skin. Then I rinse my hands. Then I get into the scrub and I scrub the cuticle area. I scrub my hands. You know, as we age, our skin just doesn't turn over as quickly. This helps with like the skin turnover. Scrub my hands really good. Rinse off. I feel very moisturized. Then I come in and I um, cuticle oil and, and get on with my manicure. I also love to use this um, in the shower for um, shaving of the legs and, and like whole body. I don't ever put it on my face because I am acne prone and it is oily, but if you aren't acne prone, I would definitely try it. I think it could be nice. So I usually like from the neck down, but this will leave you feeling so, so soft, um, like very um, baby butt soft. And I think for $10, like it's a really, really good value. And I just, you guys, I go through these tubs of these like left and right. I also use them for pedicure. Um, I soak my feet, <coughs> remove cuticles, and then I scrub the crap out of my feet with this and they're baby soft after. So if you have not tried the KB Shimmer Scrub, like you really guys do need to try it because it is so, 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 so good. And if you love any kind of like apple, type scent I think you would really enjoy this um so that's that and then last up I have the moonshine Manny. try before you deny you guys look at that so this is inspired by the ever chill argyle from the tv show stranger things this will be $13 there's a 200 bottle cap um this is a vibrant turquoise jelly with a strong gold orange red glow and packed with hollow flakes um so the shimmer in this you guys is amazing um i feel like this did have a little bit of a thinner formula i did build up in three coats if you have long nails you're totally gonna need three coats shorter nails you might be able to get away with two but um my swatch pictures are three coats so pretty you guys i feel like it's really flattering and like i mentioned in my fall polish rack video um brighter colors are trending for fall and like ocean blues is one of those colors and so i feel like she is giving us that but then this could also go for fall um but you could also wear it in the summer in the spring it's it's gorgeous the shimmer in this is like getting washed out with my lighting but in my swatch pictures i think you can really pick up on this gold shimmer um this is beautiful like really 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 beautiful if you are a turquoise or teal polish lover um i think you would really enjoy this so let's get into live swatching of try before you deny So that is everything I was sent this month for polish pickup. 
I really enjoyed all the stuff I reviewed this month. I think that there's a little bit of everything, something for everyone. I feel like there was like total perfect fall vibes. I feel like there's some like spooky Halloween vibes. There's a little bit of something more versatile. Everything had really great formulas. Um, I loved it all. So let me know down below if any of the stuff I showed is on your wish list um, and what you thought of some of these polishes. Are, are you guys excited for R2D2 like I am? I am so excited for that. Um, so that is it. I will have all the information for polish pickup listed down below in the description box and let's talk about October's polish pickup in the comments down below if you guys like this video please make sure to click the like button down below if you have not subscribed to my channel please do and thanks you guys for watching I will see you all in the next video I hope you're having an amazing day bye